Today, we embark on an incredible journey into the life of Sylvia Mendez, a fearless girl who stood up for equality in schools. Did you know Sylvia Mendez was born on June 7, 1936 in sunny Santa Ana, California? Her roots were a beautiful blend of Puerto Rican and Mexican heritage. When she was young, her family moved to vibrant Westminster, California. Now, picture this. In 1944, at just eight years old, Sylvia and her brothers were eager to join a nearby school. But guess what? They were told they couldn't because they were Hispanic. Unbelievable, right? But Sylvia's dad, Gonzalo Mendez, wouldn't accept such injustice. He enlisted the help of the brave civil rights attorney, David Marcus, and took the school districts to court. Together with four other Mexican-American families, they fought for their rights. In early 1946, their determination paid off. The judge ruled in favor of Sylvia and the others breaking down the walls of segregation. This landmark decision was a giant leap towards equality in schools. Guess what? Sylvia's case even inspired the monumental 1954 Brown v. Board of Education decision by the U.S. Supreme Court, making racial segregation in schools illegal nationwide. And that's not all, folks. After the court case, Sylvia triumphantly attended the desegregated Westminster Elementary School. She went on to achieve great heights, earning nursing degrees from California State University at Los Angeles. For over 30 years, she selflessly cared for others as a dedicated nurse. Incredible, right? Sylvia Mendez's bravery teaches us that standing up for what's right can indeed change the world. Let's honor her legacy by continuing to fight for equality and fairness for all. Thank you, awesome learners, for joining us on this inspiring journey through Sylvia Mendez's incredible story. If you loved this video, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more captivating history tales. But hold on, history buffs. Don't go anywhere just yet. Next up, we have an exhilarating video about Claudette Colvin on Fresberg Cartoon.